I think that there are gonna be like a lot of mixed reactions to this. And so guys, I guess just buckle up. And so I guess what I'm gonna try to do today is make the most of it. And so hopefully by the end of the video, you guys will walk away feeling like you at least know what to do. Hi. Welcome back to another Punishing Grey Raven video. My name is Lace and today I wanted to talk about the dev notes actually. So I'm actually on the wrong screen. So essentially what you're seeing here is like the dev blog that they have published in response to I guess a lot of the backlash and outrage. There is a lot that's going on here. Well, a lot of words at least. But I wanted to go through each point and talk about like what exactly the impact of each is. Because as you guys already know, I'm a big fan of like the facts first. And then after that, I guess let's talk through a couple of different options for like the different scenarios that we have here. And so to start things off, we have the energy recovery event in which they'll like we're sorry I guess so in a nutshell they're not going to change like the reward structure or like the amount of coins you earn however what they are doing is pushing back the deadline to August 8th 7 p.m UTC however on top of all of this whatever they're saying here they are still saying that despite the extended time provided some players may still have to spend a small amount of black cards or bonus battery tokens via gift packs to receive every reward from this event from the calculations that a couple of players have done like I'm pretty sure pretty much everybody has to spend black cards or have have to fork out. And so let's talk about this one first and like the options that you have here. What I've got here is two spreadsheets done by like two different people. So this one is by Nameless from Discord. Massive thanks to Nameless for this one. And then this one is by uh, this guy over here, Septiana Indra. And so big shout out to the two, but like essentially they're coming to the same conclusion. So this one is saying that we're going to be getting a total of 18,500 of these points if we actually do all of the cumulative tasks. So that is if you do spend those 500 black cards to either get like the cell batteries, which is like those of rolling currencies, or if you decide to roll it on like the weapon banner or something. On the other hand, this one is saying that we're going to get up to 2000 if we do do that 500 BC task. And so yes, if you notice that there is a discrepancy of about 500 between the two, this one is saying 2000, this one's saying 1.5k. I think it's that this one didn't apply the pity properly. And so like, let's just take the scenarios of about like 1.5k to 2k. And so what this means is that you're actually able to earn every single reward up until the skin. And so for you people who are eyeing the skin, like what does this mean for you? So there are a couple of different options that you can take. And so just let me bring up the game. And so as you can see here, what we can do is we can actually purchase these cell batteries with the black cards. And so if we take this approach to make up that like 1.5k to 2k difference, it's going to take about like 800 black cards for you to be able to push those points through to the skin. And so you guys can take that how you will. You guys can decide if that's worth it to you. It's up to you guys. But essentially, I think what they've done is they've extended it enough so that we actually are able to clear everything except for the skin. Me personally, if you guys did watch my last video you guys already know i'm a skin collector and i'm a massive fan of this and so i'm personally gonna like sink in the black cards to get this bloody love skin you guys can look at it in like two different ways either i got screwed out of like, around like 800 bc or that they are so generous to offer up a skin for 800 bc honestly it's up to you guys to interpret that how you will but i'm just gonna leave it there and the other thing i guess is that it does assume like the worst case scenario and so like there could be a little bit of leeway we might be able to get away with spending a little bit less but it's not going to be overly much but yeah the conclusion is that pretty much everybody is going to have to like put in black cards if you do want that skin. Hopefully that I guess clears up um, this energy recovery event. And so that being said, let's move on. And so we've got the rainbow card and monthly pass pricing. So this one is kind of like really meh. And so what the developers are essentially saying to us are like, oh, well, we're sorry that we didn't have a $5 option. I guess the original complaint was that like, you know, the ratios just did not work out the same. Like, so as you can see here for less dollars, like for $4.89 USD, you're getting 34 rainbow cards. Instead, we are getting 28 rainbow cards. And so what they're saying is they're like, oh, you're feeling inconvenienced that you have to buy an extra rainbow card pack. So we're just going to make like a new monthly pack for you, like a new one of these guys over here. Except this is going to have the same ratio as before. So really you're not getting any more value than before. Again, you guys can make of it like what you will, like yeah. They've essentially just introduced another monthly, which is going to give less cards overall. That's really it. And so with that, let's uh, let's move on. This is probably the one that's going to affect like most people because like everyone gets the novice missions. And so essentially what's happening here is that they are taking out 1000 black cards from our novice missions because the original total black card amount from the novice missions was 3500 and they have reduced it to 2500. So unfortunately, I was a bit too optimistic in my last video. They did not like make up that difference. However, on the other hand, we did get that Nanami skin and I guess like yeah and so you can look at it as like we are trading 1000 black cards for a Nanami skin so as many of you do know we can in fact earn this skin through the dormitory so if I click through here and then I go into the coding shop you'll see that we can actually purchase it from these like costume tickets however if you are looking at this from like a value point like grinding for one of these costumes actually takes a really really long time because they make us go through like several currency conversions and then like it's really kind of like I guess misleading I'm just gonna say that like to earn one of these skins it's gonna take a very very long 
long time. However, what I just noticed is that that skin is not in the shop. So yeah, I, I don't know how to feel about that. I guess it just is, it, it is what it is, right? So it looks like I guess it's going to be um, novice mission exclusive. Well, I guess we can look at it that way. However, again, we are trading like 1000 black cards for that skin. So yeah, you guys make of it what you will. For me, I'm a big fan of skin. So like, it's kind of okay. However, I do recognize that like a thousand black cards is a lot more versatile than a skin. As you guys saw, a thousand black cards could be used to contribute to the event. It could be used to refresh stamina. It could be used as pulls. I completely understand that like not everybody is into skins. So like, you know, if they could have made this into like an option, I guess, to either select between 1000 black cards versus like the skin. Otherwise, yeah, that's, I guess what happened. And I suppose the last impact of this is that like there is going to be a slight flow on effect, I suppose. I know it's only like technically four pulls, but like the rate at which we get black cards is actually really, really slow. And on top of that, we still don't really know our schedule, right? Like we don't know if alpha is like, you know, going to be coming in three weeks or a month or whatever. So if I were any of you, I would really hold onto my black cards like for dear life, especially if this is the approach that they're taking. Like you guys should be a little bit more careful if you're going to spend it. Okay. And so with that being said, let's move on to the next one, which is the exchange rates and taxes. This one I kind of get, I guess. For me, it was like a 30% markup and even more like when I use the iOS store. And I completely get that there are like so many other players from like either the APAC region or the EU region or whatever. And I think that everybody outside of the US is going to be affected by this like pretty dramatically. All I can say about this is that I'm really sorry it's happening to you. This just really sucks. I'm, I'm really sorry. As for this one, like font sizes, I don't really care. They're saying they're working on it. Okay, yeah, like that's pretty cool. And as for this one down here, the PC version, like looking for a native PC release. And so yeah, like this piece of text is pretty much saying like, yeah, they'll consider it. Like it's okay, but like, I don't know, like even after going through CNTW and JP, they still don't have a PC release. I doubt the global market is even big enough for them to even like think about a native PC release just because we asked for it. And so after that, we have the release regions, which is like a couple of places in the world, a couple of countries or regions just are not able to play the game. I think this one is probably the most understandable one, especially because of like IP issues. This one, I don't have much to say about because I just hope that they get it resolved so that you guys can play the game. And so last one, this one is just saying like, oh man, uh, forgive us for our technical issues. We're addressing concerns and stuff. That's uh, yeah, um, that, that's kind of it. I guess I'll tell you guys how I'm feeling about all of this and I am opening up myself to be flamed. But essentially for like all of those changes, like for me personally, it's what I would say is reasonable for myself. However, this is only because I am like really into skins and like a lot of the changes were like really geared towards people who like skins. And so I completely understand, especially for the people who don't care about the skins. It just feels like they've taken stuff away from you, right? I guess all in all, I'm more disappointed in them. For a lot of words, I guess they didn't really say much. Like essentially what they're saying is like, well, we acknowledge all of these different issues. Yeah. That, that's it. It's especially because it's launch, right? Like this is supposed to be the period where you're honeymooning. I don't know about you guys, but like in the last few gacha launches that I've played, or like to be honest, in most gacha launches, they tend to like really shower you and stuff. And like for them to stand their ground on something like this, it's more like about the behavior. It's not like for me, it's not really about the 1000 black cards. It's like they're not even willing to just give us the 1000 black cards to make us happy. And so it's like behavior like this that doesn't give me a lot of faith in this developer. Like guys, I keep going back to Alchemy Stars and I'm really sorry for that, but that is like the most recent launch I played. It only released like a month ago, but essentially they're like showering us with gifts. They're actually like incorporating our feedback and their dev notes say like a lot more than this with a lot less words. And so in Alchemy Stars, you know, like I feel like they do have our back. I do feel like they're actually listening. In all of this, it just feels like, yeah, we've heard you, but but yeah, that's it. That's how I feel about it personally. Like to be honest, like on paper, like I came out ahead. I'm getting like two pretty sick skins that I'll probably never use, but I still want them because I'm a collector. So normally I'd be really, really ecstatic. However, again, it's just like their behavior. I'm just not, yeah, I'm not a really big fan of this. For me personally, like 1000 black cards is not gonna break my bank. It's kind of like whatever for me, but the developer's just not willing to give like the thousand black cards. If it was like even like 500 black cards, like, I wouldn't really care. It's just the fact that they're like so harsh on their stance. They're like, you know, this is where we stand and that's it guys, no, no negotiation. Negotiations. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't know about this. So honestly, guys, I think that's really it for this one. And so the next thing I want to talk about, I guess, is like, well, what's next? If you guys are unhappy, go leave feedback in the appropriate channels. And if you are happy, go leave feedback in the appropriate channels. Like that's all you can do, right? Like, so I've seen the social media, I've seen the Twitter, I've seen the Facebook. And so yeah, guys, if you guys do have any feedback or if you want to praise them, stuff like that, like send it over to their Twitter, their Facebook, their app store reviews. You can even email and stuff like you guys do you. Otherwise, if these like kind of changes or this response is enough to make you quit, 
then like, I guess good luck. Me personally, I don't know about other content creators, but like I completely get it. And if you guys do do that, like you guys can consider joining like the CN or the TW or like the JP service. But otherwise I do hope that your next games or your next gachas or whatever, like they do treat you well. Because as for me, uh, I'm gonna give it another solid go. But obviously like I'm a lot more cautious and like my opinion of this developer is kind of just like, it's changing. Let's put it that way. Previously, after seeing like the CN server and actually playing on the Taiwan server, I thought Kura Games was like a really, really decent company. And so yeah, I think I just need to wait and see a bit to see like what's really going on here. And I guess the last thing that's most interesting is that apparently the, the Karenina skin is not like exclusive to a global anymore. It seems, I guess, like we misinterpreted the intentions and that the Karenina skin was uh, never meant to be EN exclusive. To be honest, guys, like I don't really want to talk about this anymore. So this is probably the last video that I'm going to make on this topic. And so with that being said, let's kind of, I guess, wrap this video up. As for the secret question, like honestly, let me know how you guys feel about all of this. Do you guys feel like this is good enough? The devs are listening and all of that. Whether you think they are or not, let me know in the comments below. But just like, please don't fight with each other. Honestly, like me personally, I'm just so tired of all of this drama. If you guys want to fight, go like fight in a Discord somewhere else. But like, just please not here. And so then, yeah, you would ask like, why would I ask you guys to drop a comment down below then? Because I personally like actually really care about what you guys think. I want to know what the public sentiment is feeling. I'm feeling okay, but I know I'm in the minority, especially because like it's geared towards people who like skins. And so yeah, you guys let me know how you feel. And again, remember to submit feedback in I guess the appropriate channels. Otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a comment. You guys already know what it is. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.